It was a huge day for NASA and for the United States. Our scientists brought back a sample of rocks and dust from an asteroid billions of miles away. The spacecraft that made the trek across the galaxy dropped off the sample this morning while still streaking through space. And that sample floated down to Earth and landed perfectly there in the desert in Utah. New 6's Jerry Askin explains why we did this and what the sample will tell us. A great view of that SRC heating up as it enters into Earth's atmosphere. An exciting return Sunday morning. NASA's first asteroid samples landing over this remote military land in Utah at 10.52 Eastern Time. It's all part of the OSIRIS-REx mission, and it's the first U.S. mission to collect a sample from an asteroid. The goal, to better understand how the Earth and life formed. Milestone, they have confirmed parachute deployment. Minutes before landing, we watched as the parachute deployed with the capsule soaring over the desert. And liftoff of OSIRIS-REx, its seven-year mission. Here's video when the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft launched from our space coast back in 2016, traveling to an asteroid 200 million miles away. Down declared. <gasps> NASA saying it expects the largest amount of extraterrestrial rocks and dust collected since Apollo were brought back Sunday. After landing in Utah, NASA will now take the sample to Houston where Apollo's moon rocks are stored. It's going to help us understand the, the origin of life here on Earth, on, on the surface of Mars or on the moons of Jupiter or on planets around other stars. UCF physics and astronomy professor Dr. Humberto Campins has worked on the mission since 2010. Each grain is going to probably tell us a different story. NASA says after scientists began reviewing the sample, they'll let us know what the mission discovered. One of the big takeaways of this, we will read the clues of Mother Nature on how our world works in the context of all the rest of the planetary system. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.